and welcome to this trending channel and what's happening in the markets. So first of all, okay, we're gonna take a look at the markets. Why Bitcoin? Bitcoin is pumping, okay? Why Bitcoin is pumping? We're gonna take a look at some technicals and uh, fundamentals. So there, there's a thing, okay? But so what's happening in the markets, okay? A few days ago, everybody thought that that's it, okay? Bull run is starting. Then what happened? Okay, Sunday night uh, on Monday morning, Bitcoin crashed, okay? It crashed, pop pump. It touched this uh, support zone, which. Then everybody thought that on Monday everybody thought that's it okay it's not, now we're in now we're in a bear market and everybody everything is going down and then um, I mentioned it suddenly uh, you know last yeah last night you know Bitcoin pumped again uh, so so I, I want to give you my opinion I remember in my previous video I gave you these price points for Bitcoin for all crypto industry for for us to be in a bull market. All Bitcoin has to do, it has to break 31.8 thousand mark. You know, if I was so scared about every single trade that I make, what I would do is I would basically put my alerts at this price point, meaning that whenever Bitcoin breaks this, I would go long, and I would go long on my all other altcoins, uh, you know, our assets as well. Uh, but before that, has, that before that will happen, you know, Bitcoin can do these jokes with us. And this really, well, this is not a joke. This is a trap, really, really dangerous trap, because uh, Bitcoin pumped today. Why? Because of this news release. Uh, news release that this is pretty, pretty fascinating. So, micro strategy to raise 750 million to buy Bitcoin, to buy more Bitcoin. Uh, micro strategy. So this is a huge. So that means that there is going to be another uh, nearly one billion dollars. You know, being uh, you know, being pushed in and put into the Bitcoin, which, and of course that's going to affect the Bitcoin price. And what's uh, and, and when Bitcoin price is affected, then that affects all the other altcoins, all of the cryptocurrency market. But now we are still on the sidelines, okay? Because Bitcoin can still break the 28.5 and 27. I don't want to be. I'm not financial advisor. I don't want to be uh, negative. But we need to be realistic, okay? Markets are really slow, uh, and everything now will depend on fundamentals. If there's gonna be some crazy fundamental news being released, okay? Uh, it's gonna affect the market immediately. So watch out for news. Uh, so, for example, um, there are so many websites you can watch out for news. And you're gonna really see that you know some news you know being released and it affects the market immediately. But once you can take you know once uh, if you are able to be fast and take action, those are the people who will be most profitable. Because now we are in the era, we are in the era right now where short-term investors are more profitable than long-term investors, and the medium-term investors who invest money for medium term with leverage are the biggest loser, I mean, I don't say losers, people who are losing the most money, people who are being the most liquidated are the ones who invest large amounts of money for medium term and they are being liquidated, okay? Because markets can do these quick moves. So we're gonna take, so this is the outlook for Bitcoin. 31.8, 28.5 and 27, okay? These are very, very important key areas. And this right here is a trap area. I would not trade whenever Bitcoin is in this trap. And as you can see, this trap can continue for medium, you know, for at least next one to two weeks. One to two weeks, guys. Okay, so up to two weeks, Bitcoin can do this trappiness. And we need to be very, very careful what's gonna happen within one to two weeks. Because uh, if Bitcoin does something like this, and then it goes up, so many people is gonna lose money. So be very, very careful that you use leverage, you know, if you use big leverage. Yes, my trading group is successful. Yes, we, because we sent only short-term scalp trades. You know, somebody actually made it 400% on this trade. Uh, yeah, nice, because we are send my trading group, we are sending short-term signals. Because we are very, very, we, you know, we are very, very be careful uh, when it comes to these, you know, medium-term swings, because 
So these are our trades. If you want to follow or trade signals, then you're always welcome to. This is going to be the third link below the video. And so any more fundamentals, okay? I remember, okay? Fundamentals is, is the key here. So SEC sues Richard Hard. <laughs> Some suggest that he could spend life in prison, right? That's unbelievable. Now for for them for them more. Uh, Coinbase was told to delist all coins except Bitcoin. Furthermore, the Ripple case is far from over. So Ripple again is on sidelines. Uh, people are discussing regarding appeal. Some says that if the SEC is going to appeal, it's going to be great for Ripple. However, there is huge, huge uncertainty. So uncertainty for Ripple case still grows and still is where it is basically. Now, what what what's very very interesting stuff? Okay, okay. Okay, we, markets are on the sidelines. Okay, it go, it go, dip, it it could dip more, which would be normal, and then it could pump uh, after afterwards. So please understand that there could be more pain coming to the crypto industry, which would be absolutely normal. Now, but what I am interested in, okay, can I talk about what I am interested in? Like, uh, I mean, I'm interested in the crypto industry as a whole, but now because we are still on this sideline, we still need to wait. Because huge moves will come within one to two weeks. I'm gonna tell you after, at the end of this video why huge moves will come in one to two weeks. But uh, let's talk about some juicy stuff. Dogecoin. I'm gonna talk about Dogecoin. Uh, everybody knows that Elon Musk uh, added Dogecoin symbol in his bio, which you can see right here. Beautiful, nice X logo and very, very beautiful Dogecoin symbol. I love it, it looks nice. When Elon Musk did this, okay, of course what happened? The Dogecoin pumped, but not much, but it pumped. Uh, so it pumped from, uh, it was uh, it was still, uh, it was 7 cents, it pumped from 7 cents to 8 cents. Just 1 cent. However, now everybody is waiting what's gonna happen next to the Dogecoin. And what's gonna happen next to the Dogecoin is that there are rumors, yes of course, that there are big rumors that Elon Musk wants to utilize Dogecoin as a payment system in uh, X Twitter, pl Twitter platform. If that happens, then the sky is the limit. Uh, now, let's take a look at some very very important uh, key levels, okay, for the Dogecoin. So there are, there are, so this is the, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is our uh, weekly chart. And weekly, uh, there are a couple of these weekly charts floating around, which are really, really interesting to look at. So this is the weekly chart for Dogecoin, and some suggest that once Dogecoin is breaking this out, <laughs> it could go to the all-time high. Well, if that happens, it would be crazy. It would be crazy, okay, it would be really, really crazy and significant. People who invest in Dogecoin will get significant gains. However, is this possible? In short term, of course not. But please understand that everything will happen. You know, it, everybody is waiting for that Elon Musk tweets. Basically, everybody is waiting for the news. What's going to happen to the Dogecoin and how the Dogecoin is going to be utilized in the X platform? Now everybody is just waiting for that, uh, and everybody is hyped about what's going to happen because something will happen. Okay, and if history repeats itself. Well, I have invested in Dogecoin myself. Uh, that's why I'm really, really, you know, fascinated and kind of thrilled. What's gonna happen next? So uh, there's no doubts that Dogecoin. There's something is gonna happen to the Dogecoin, and, and there's no doubts about that. But uh, you know, uh, but if I was a newbie investor, I would always make sure that if I invest in Dogecoin, I would make sure that uh, I don't use too much leverage, and I would make sure that I understand that these are our previous lows. Okay, so 50 mark. 52 mark because it could you know if something bad happens it could still retest these levels so make sure that if you use leverage make sure that your liquidation price is uh, is below so why markets is gonna move either you know crash or pump in next couple of weeks why because in a 22nd and a 24th until 22nd until the 24th of august there is going to be BRICS summit in south africa and johannesburg uh, and of course, brick, brick nation, you know, brick is growing uh, bigger, and uh, there are more and more nations, you know, joining bricks. Uh, and the more, if more and more nations are joining bricks, it's basically, you know, damaging the dollar. What does it mean? Tell me, what does it mean if, you know, if if, if something is damaging dollar? What do you think is going to happen to the Bitcoin? Oh yeah, this is nice. So. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
If, if Vladimir Putin <laughs> will arrive in a summit, he will be subject to international criminal court arrest warrant, okay? <laughs> Uh, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, uh, is, you know, BRICS is damaging the dollar. And what happens when the dollar is being damaged? Yes! Gold is going to pump and Bitcoin is going to pump. But it will take a little bit of time. So thank you for watching this video. I love you all. If you need any help in trading, you're always welcome to email me. And you can also schedule a free one-on-one -on -one call with me and my team if you need any help in trading. I love you all. Smash that like button. Click on that like button and click on that subscribe button. I love you all and see you on the next one. So stay tuned, be calm. I love you all, bye bye.